it's springtime, it's early June, a lot of exciting activities are happening in the vineyards. Canopy management programs are happening, uh, such as moving the foliage upright into the w movable wires to keep it upright and allow sunlight to get on the blooming clusters. And we have uh, bloom happening right here, for example, and this cluster is essentially in full bloom right here where this one is partially in bloom. And uh, the little white flower parts are exposed as the cap is uh, thrown off of there. Grapes are self-fertilizing. They all self-pollinate and they don't need wind or bees or any type of cross-pollination such as fruit trees do. These vines were grafted in 2009 and we allowed one trunk to come up from our graft point and expanded it to four different cordons. So these vines did not have a crop on them in 2009, but now they have a small crop for 2010. And that's what we would expect in a grafted vineyard. And uh, the grafting technique here was the inverted T graft where we just take a bud and flip it behind the bark. The cambium of the bud it's matched with the cambium of the main trunk that we're grafting onto, and hopefully they will grow and connect and make a new vine. So these vines are just basically um, a recent grafting of 2009, one year old, and we're redeveloping. We've changed from Merlot to Cabernet in this case. What we're also very concerned about in vineyards in the Napa Valley this year is the pest called European grapevine moth. And the larvae are so small, they can actually put a hole, they can put a hole into that un, that flower cap right there and live inside that flower cap and eat out the inside and they can actually live and survive in there as they grow and develop. So it's been a very intense cycle of spraying this spring to try to keep the European grapevine moth from getting established in many of the vineyards throughout the Napa Valley. Now that we're starting to put up our pheromone twist ties, which will help disrupt the mating disruptor. And these are the packages for them. And we put up these little twisties, about 200 per acre, up in the upper part of the canopy on the upper wires. These Disruptors will last about five months, 150 days, so hopefully it'll get us through harvest and we will not have to use any more insecticides.